Hello everyone. My name is Dr. Bhaskar Bora. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I just wanted to talk a little bit about the importance of communication skills as a doctor, which is also known as the doctor as a drug. There's been a lot of research to observe the impact of bedside manners and the consultation skills of a doctor. on a patient's prognosis irrespective of the diagnosis and the management of a patient it is observed that the interpersonal relationship and the banner the doctor affects the healing of the patient thus the analogy of a doctor as a drug that came into prevalence in the early 1900s it is therefore the case why some patients feel better just by seeing a particular doctor while many patients would feel rushed off or even dismissed by some other doctors even if they are the best specialist in town in general doctors are very strong in their theoretical and clinical practice but unfortunately not always enough emphasis is put on the communication and the consultation skills having taught medical students in england for several years i have realized how much importance is given to developing communication skills for these medical students in fact most complaints also originate due to the attitude of the doctor than for any other reason in many cases as doctors we turn a normal person into a patient for life this is especially true in terms of asymptomatic illnesses like hypertension because unless a diagnosis is made and the bad news is given to the patient or the person that person may be completely unaware of his circumstances as it, it is therefore even more important in these cases to educate the patient rather than just prescribe medications as education and lifestyle changes may make a more tangible and lasting impact on the prognosis than just medications sometimes unknowingly some of us doctors may develop an egoist attitude and believe ourselves to be intellectually and emotionally superior to our patients and that also can lead to a condescending behavior towards a patient but in truth there is no basis for such an attitude a doctor performs his best when he or she can place himself or herself in the patient's shoes and become a part of the patient's journey consultation models often talk about ideas concerns and expectations what may be a trifle diagnosis to a doctor may be an enormous life changing event for a patient depending on his idea of his illness hence it is imperative that not only to address those ideas concerns and expectations but also to be able to justify why we disagree with them if we do so unless these biases are dealt with a consultation cannot be successful a patient may be the first patient of the day or the 25th but for that patient he is the only one that matters so it is pertinent that we treat him as the only one research have shown that nearly 80% of someone's diagnosis come from a good history taking 10% from examinations and about 10% from from investigations so again it is vital that the history of a patient's illness is taken thoroughly and for that consultation skills and communication skills are invaluable and not just spoken words but also nonverbal cues and body language matter too it is important not just to think as to what to say but also when to say it during a consultation one thing that i have learned from my own practice is the importance of patient confidentiality and a patient consent often we see in certain movies especially indian movies that many a time in real life we see 
that the patient is the last person to know about the diagnosis, especially if it is something serious like cancer. And then the family or the well-wishers decide the management and thus the fate of the patient without the patient's involvement. However, it is fundamental that the patient has every right to know, first of all, what the diagnosis is and their consent with the deemed management. And unless and until the patient gives consent, it's illegal to divulge the diagnosis to anyone else, even to the next of kin. It is also true that the, if the patient is taken into confidence and a mutually agreed management plan is drawn up, then the chances of success and compliance are much higher. It is now pertinent for us doctors to think and discuss some taboo subjects with patients like advanced care planning, resuscitation status, and questions like where the patient would like to die when the time comes in relevant situations. These are, of course, difficult subjects to tackle and won't happen overnight. But these are vital topics to discuss during a patient's journey and lie within the duties of a doctor. And for these as well, communication skills are very important. So in essence, a doctor's duty goes beyond just formulating a diagnosis, writing a prescription or performing an operation. It is about being a great communicator being honest and open, and being passionate and empathic. It is about the doctor himself being a drug to make the patient better. I have tried my best during my years as a medical doctor, but unfortunately I had to take medical retirement due to a spinal cord injury and transformed into a patient rather than a doctor. And therefore, I have had you can say either the blessing or the curse of seeing both sides of the fence. I have seen myself as a patient how some doctors have been so good and have involved me in, in the management plan and how some other doctors have been so condescending and unapologetic for their bad bedside manners and which had left a huge dent in my own confidence and has affected my prognosis. I feel that as doctors, we are in a very privileged position of trust in the society and we deal with patient lives and therefore it is upon us to make sure that we do the best for the patient, we develop the best communication skills and we keep ourselves up to date with all possible knowledge uh, that is being updated on a regular basis in the medical world and do our best for the patient. I hope this video will not give any offense, cause any offense to anyone and it will be great if this helps in developing communication skills to some of my colleagues.